sweating in my room. You have no idea how hot it is right now. Whew. Hello once again, Dynamic Family. My name is Dynamo, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, and if not, let's see if we can change that. Today, we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Walking Dead. Last we left off, we had just gotten into Savannah, and we got into contact with a mystery man who apparently has been telling Clementine that she can find her parents, which I don't believe. And we also met Molly, who rings bells all around Savannah and attracts zombies to be able to loot places in the area. And we also found out that there are no boats left and Kenny's not feeling any better than he was before. Kind of just stuck in a situation where we need to find a way to get out of the city. That is where we are currently at. Without any further delay, let's get right into it. All right, back in the sewers where we last left off. And dead zombie around here. I'm not gonna climb back up that because I know we're not gonna make it. So let's go down here. What we got? Real solid. Some solid bars, man. Solid bars. No way I can pry that open. I don't think there's anything else to really discover in here, so I'm just gonna keep going. Also, it must stink down here. Like, ah! and now we're covered in it. Fantastic. Oh, dead rats. <laughs> it wants me to pick it. I'm not picking it up. Half eaten sewer rats. Walkers must be down here too. They just expected to manhandle rats, like, no problem. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Ew. Ooh, what's this? Yeah, there are not many uses for sewers like these, especially with people in. What is this? It's a drainage pipe. Thank you for answering that, Lee. The dead rat. Let's continue. Oh. Oh. Um. That's that's a very large group. Um. Yeah, let's. Could be the way out. There's no way I can take up all of them. By myself. Nope. It's gotta be this way, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I'm gonna turn it to the right. Turn it to the right. I'm just kidding. I'm turning it to the left. Don't turn anymore in that direction. Okay. I'll turn it to the left, then. I'm sorry, to the right. What does that do? Wait. Did that just turn on the water? Oh no. Good thing I'm out here and not in there. Hmm. Seems loose. Oh. Shit. <sighs> Fuck. Really? He had to stop right in front of where I'm trying to get out at. Come on. No, this way. There you go. Um. Hey, there we go. Okay, so. There's a zombie around this corner. Oops. Yeah, it's giving me danger signs. Let me turn this back off and see if it'll do something. Huh? Let's just take it. Well, let's put it back on first off. Back to the left. Let's see if the zombie will go away. Oh no, he's still there. Oh, okay, okay. It doesn't even matter. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna go into that room or not. So let's 
take this off. And we'll go this way. Okay. So, can we not actually fight this one? This... this is, is not okay! This needs to stop now! It's so weird. Uh, oh, okay. I'm just gonna get eaten. Not like we have any weapons or anything, but alright. Bitch, is you blind?! A few moments later. Oh, I'm an idiot. Like, I don't think about this shit sometimes. Okay. Turn to the left, maybe? Nope. To the right, it is. I see. It draws the- yeah, 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 yeah. Move this way. Back in here. Alright, we're good. And now we wait for all them to pass. Take a second. Anytime now. Anytime now. Okay. Let's hope that we moved all of them. Okay, sweet. <gasps> Yo, is that? Oh, is that? No. Ew. Oh my god. Chuck. He must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. Why'd Chuck Charles have to die? Really? Damn. We're losing everybody here, I swear. I honestly wonder how many people are going to be left by the time this whole season... Oh my god! Oh boy! Get off me! Fuck! Okay, yep, that. Yeah. Go, god damn it! Get, get off me! Get off me! Got him. Oof. Too close. Left in here. Or, okay, we've got to go this way. No way I can pick that up on my own. Okay. Can I get out here? Spas are this way then? Yep. Freaking music, I swear. Can you do it, Lee? Can you do it? Ah, damn it. Wait. Okay, the fucking suspenseful music stopped. Like, I don't know what was going on. Alright, sweet. Oh, it had me panic for a minute. I'm like, why is the music not stopping? <laughs> Oh damn, there's a fuck ton of supplies in here. Wonder if someone's living down here. Yeah, look at all this stuff. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Oh, yo. Oh boy. Who are you? 
It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? No. You don't lie to me. I know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I came here with a small group hoping to find a boat. We just want to get out of here. How about you just let me go? Ain't no boats around here. Crawford took everything. Yeah, I heard. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. Yo. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. Look. I told you he's lying. He is one of them. Kill him before he kills us. Bro, what the hell? Really? Okay, try this again. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Just to take the gun. <laughs> Vernon! Sheesh. Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're wow! In but that wasn't good enough for Crawford. That's terrible. They, they kicked out cancer survivors before the rest of us managed That's to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah, irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? I told you, my group and I were up by the river looking for a boat. Now I just want to get out of here and find them again. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? What's your problem, like? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Thanks. Bree, you need to chill. Like, I don't know you, but like, come on. I understand it's like a detriment to your group if he leaves, but like, come on. Just looking for some help. I'm just a lone stranger making his way in the world. Clementine? Hey, good stuff. Clem? Oh! Molly's here. Molly? Oh, hey. You made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? I'm the one who saved his ass back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. Alright, you can keep it. I was having fun with it.
Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. Ugh, oh, damn. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. I love Vernon already. He's so, like, humble. Sucks that he lost his daughter, though. Omid, honey. You're gonna be alright. Lee brought a doctor. Alright, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Don't sweat it, Doc. I'll let you do your thing. We need to find Clementine anyway. Like, where is she at? Clementine. <laughs> I thought she'd be, like, at the door. Clementine? God, I hope nothing happened to her. Hello? Oh, it's Molly. What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Hey. Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. Is what he drunk? What do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. First good thing that's happened since... What the fuck were you thinking letting Kenny get like this? Hey man, I tried, but he gave me a look like he was gonna rip my face off. He won't listen to you. You think he was gonna listen to me? Jesus Christ. Said this couldn't to get hell any with worse. You. Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Ben? Yeah, don't take a drink from that bottle. I don't want to see you. Clementine, where are you? What the hell? Um. Oh my god! Lee! Why were you locked in there? What were you doing in there? Exploring? And look! Look what I found! Seems like he got locked in there. What's that? What is it? Yo! Let's go! <laughs> A working boat! Yeah, this is a holy shit moment. Holy shit. Swear. Ho ho ho. Sorry, Clementine. It had to be said. And just like that, Kenny's sober. <laughs> I'm dropping the bottle. 
Oh, this is such a relief. Me gonna be okay? I hope he is. Give us the news, Doc. Or not. Old Mead's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Real negotiator, Molly. Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Bad news first. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. <sighs> so what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Crawford might have some. Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because, from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. That's putting it mildly. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath the Direct approach is suicide. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. Yeah. We do. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's hmm. actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? Yeah, Ben. We should go Come tonight. Here, bitch. Under cover of dark. I'm gonna man up. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Clem. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Me neither, Clementine. Me neither. Neither do I, Clem. But sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You're not you coming said with all us. all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help. Remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? 
Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Can't I come with you? I'm sorry. No, I'm not putting her in harm's way. No matter how much... I think... No, I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. Sometimes you gotta make the hard decisions. I mean, this was a pretty easy one. We get caught and they realize we have a kid with us. Like, we're, we're screwed. Like, no, no, no other way around it. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, there ain't gonna be room for everyone. What are you trying to say? Just giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know. Oh, well. What's Bree doing? Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You understand why you have to stay behind, don't you? I guess. Plus, you have a job to do. An important job. I need you to stay here and watch over the house. Watch over Omid. But what should I do if something happens while you're gone? Um... Nah, you know what? No, she needs to stand up for herself. I'm giving her a gun. to take this. You remember how to use it, don't you? It's just like I showed you. I remember. So if anyone tries to get inside the house that isn't one of us, or if something does happen to Omid... I know what to do. Let's get you inside. Let's get this over with. Hell yeah. We better deck these losers. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet. We stay hidden. And we stay together. We find what we need. And we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? All right. Let's do this. Let's go. I got a covert, covert ops mission right now. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one. Over there by the door. Hmm. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up trying to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. Alright, let's do it. Oh, um, 
blocker? What the hell? So... This place ain't secure at all. I'm pretty sure everyone's dead already. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get oh. inside, fast! Yo, what the hell's going on? Okay. So that was a fucking lie. Everyone's dead. Probably. Your guess is as good as mine. Shit. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. True, true. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. You think you know? I thought you said that you do know. I got a working. bad feeling about this. Uh, <laughs> did they really just throw a Star Wars reference in here? Oh my goodness. I love this game so much. Okay, don't go in the room with the X on it. Just keep moving. Here. All right, what we got? Looks okay. Everybody in. to be the kids room oh let me guess it's locked yep knew it. figures gotta find the keys looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center okay so now what where do we start looking First off, we gotta find the keys. Here. Should be in this room. Just give me a sec. A motor pool? They have vehicles in here? Any idea where we could find a battery? Uh, maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Alrighty then. Uh, medicine. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Molly, what are what you about the fuel? Us? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Guess okay. I'm going for the battery. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, right, we've Mom. got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. 
We'll all meet back here. Good luck. I'm always hiding something. I'm pretty sure she used to be a part of this group, but... Ah, oh, whatever. Okay, so, just to... we need to go... where are we at? So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed, medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. Okay, so where are we? Mm. Oh, come in here. Okay, so we go here. So we make a right. And then the stairways to the alley. And then to the motor pool. Okay, so we take a right. Uh, another right. And go down the stairs. Okay. Right, right, stairs. Alright, let's do this. The alleyway to the auto shop's down here. You coming or not? Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Give me a minute. Check casings, bloody locker, sign, principles of Crawford. Oh, that's the, uh, that's the alleyway, which we need to go to. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? That's not ready, maybe. Molly, you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Okay, where did she go? Supposed to stick together, but I guess sticking together is kind of overrated. Free real estate. Holy shit! I swear, if that's Molly. Electric fence, I'm guessing. Maybe it's not electric, it's just probably barbed wire. Climbing the fence isn't an option. Nope. Alright, so let's go into the auto shop. And I don't know what the hell Molly was doing being shadowy ninja, whatever the hell she's doing, but she better not try some stupid shit. And another fence here. Okay. Fantastic. Delivery is made in the rear. Authorized. Oh, shit, must be down this way. Okay. Looters will be shot on site. Good to know. How the hell do you get up over here? That's weird. Is there something in here I missed? Ah, I see. Let's climb it. Ah, I see. Parkour for the win. Alright. Damn, it's jammed tight. Shit. Okay. Hmm. Must be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Get too close. Okay, so it's jammed. Hmm. Oh my god! Okay. Leave him. He's mine. What? Where the hell have you been? Whoa! Whoa! 
dead. Ah! Yes. Bobby. Sure. What? What are you doing? I think you got it. <laughs> One more. <sighs> Okay, then. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Damn, Molly, calm down. You okay? <laughs> like... Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Did oh, you just yeah. pull that out of That'll your invisible work. pocket? Have you been carrying that around all day long? I would very much like to know. Oh. Uh, there go. That's not gonna hurt. Find the mash button. Come on! Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm just cut you now. We're good, we're good. Oh, that one was still alive. Hmm. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Alright. Okay, got a semi truck. Ooh, there might be a battery in there. Or, well, actually, I can't reach it up there. Always doesn't work on boat. Door. What is that? Don't know what that is. My draw codes. Morning sign. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Okay. That blinking must be an anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. Oh, okay. I guess the battery's gonna be in there. Uh, can, there's a ladder over here. Looks like Crawford had their own semi trucks. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. I mean, there's this other one over here. Just need to find a way to get up to that. Oh, probably this, actually. No power. Yay. Cool. Anything else? It's That's locked. It. No way in. Okay, so we need to get up to that, but it has an anti-theft system on it. Something you need? What was all that about back there? Push her a little bit. He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. What do you think happened to Crawford? No, no, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy right for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. Damn. So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? I'm going to have a look around. You do that. All right, Molly is very, very fiery. Okay, now how do we get up there? Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Is it in place? Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Oh, Molly's tool, probably. Something you need? Think I can borrow that, uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. 
Hilda and I have been through a lot together. <laughs> Hilda? Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can no, I borrow no. Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. That's a badass name for a weapon like that. I got I love your it. promise now. Not a scratch. All right, Hilda. It's me and you once again, baby. We're going to take over the world. Gross. I did it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold them off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Okay. Still attached to the terminals. Yeah. Okay. Still attached to the terminals. Yes, unhook Still it. Still attached to the terminals. Still attached to the terminals. Let me... Can I... Why are there two separate things for it? It's like... Still attached to the terminals. Get it off. Got that one off! It's off. Go. Alright, now we take it. Jeez. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here, I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your stone. ass! Over here. Right, now what? We jump up. Skyline. Yeah. It's shut. Shoot it out. Fuck out of here. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. God, I'm only such a badass. Come on, <laughs> what are you, chicken? Jump! What did you call me? <laughs> well, now that you mention it. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Are Bali. you serious? God damn it, what the hell is she doing? All that work and Ugh. Alright, fine. Little help! Whoa. Little help here! Hey, what the hell? What have you two been doing? Fuck, the doors won't close all the way! Please do something! Nice. We got it! Break the door with something! That right there. There we go. Damn hold. Damn well better. There's so many of them. What are you two doing? You got the fuel. Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Hey, how'd you guys make out? We got the fuel. Awesome. Good job, guys. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly well, has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Yeah. Susie, what the hell happened to you two? Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. 
Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. It's not cold, it's reality. What they I got seen. what was coming to them. Feel the same. Exactly like Molly said. I have no sympathy for him. I'll be back. Got some things to do. Good luck. So what's going on with these two? What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Always wanting more, Kenny. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katya got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Honestly, Ben, that's the most grown-up thing. I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katya and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. You see, had you just told everyone from the fucking beginning, none of this shit even would have happened in the first place. We wouldn't even be here. Like, it's honestly so weird how your decisions, like, affect your future. Or how other people's decisions affect your future, too. Like the butterfly effect, if everybody knows about that. But yeah, like one tiny little thing, one small decision you do affects everything. We wouldn't be in this classroom right now. We'd be doing something else entirely. We'd probably still be on the train right now. Going all the way to the freaking coast, just like you. I mean, we'd still be going to Savannah, but we wouldn't be in here. That that I know for damn sure. Alright, so we're going to go over to the medication area where they got all the supplies at. Uh, I believe it was to the left. I'm pretty sure it was to the left. Yeah, it's still a maze. Oh. oh my god. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Damn, it's just one thing after another. Do I have to shoot him? Really? Is there no other way that I can... There's nothing else I can do. Really, nothing else. Okay. It just attracts all their attention. Got them all. Alrighty then. Yo, Krista, hold up. It's just me. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe. Locked up tight. Of course. Maybe we should try looking somewhere else for medicine. In Crawford? This place is too overrun. 
No, that safe is our best chance. Yeah, it'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Okay, so we need a four-digit combination. Uh, probably not going to be on the bed. Probably not going to be on the copier. Let's try the papers. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Damn. Okay, uh, phone, probably not. Medical file. Let's check it out. Why not? Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? It's a tape. That's interesting. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's just him. Oh, it's a uh, camcorder. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to look around before I do anything else. Uh, try this drawer. Y'all already okay. checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Just checking. Making sure. What's, What's this? this on the floor? It's a sonogram. Oh, somebody was pregnant. First aid kit? First aid kit? Uh, Damn, already I mean. cleaned out. Alright, let's take a look at the camcorder. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records Wait, of all medical examinations that the, and consultations. The, the zombie that uh, Molly was basically hacking that you're into. Looks exactly oh like god, that. Oh god, oh god. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, oh, you don't wait. have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn, that sucks. Ah, oh, he didn't unlock the safe. Fuck. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell uh, kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Yeah. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. All right, so we'll go back out there. So I'm like, I knew he looked familiar. Although why Molly was beating, so that kind of proves that Molly used to, to work here in Crawford, right? Because if she was hacking at that dude, she, cl she clearly knew him, right? So yeah, she's been lying to us this whole time about where she really comes from. I mean, I'm not too surprised about it, but... I'm wondering if the zombie horde is still in there. Possibly. Ah! Holy shit! Ah! Fuck you! Jesus. What the jump scares? Okay. What the hell? The body's... Oh, wait, no. There he is. Thought he got dragged off. Hey, you. Where are you going? Alright, 
Let's see what he's got. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Oh. Oh. Shit. Time to go. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Sweet. Let's be right back here. Alright, so it turns out it wasn't a four digit combination. Ah, combination. Actually, five. Who would have thought? Freaking jump at my feet, I swear to God. I found another tape. This one's dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. What secrets do you hold? Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy, or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living, if this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please, help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Oh, yo! Oh. No. No. What the hell? I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Sweet. Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You go on ahead. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll be right behind you. Don't take too long. Nope. There's got to be at least one more tape. I feel like this story isn't over. Vernon and Krista already took everything we need. There's gotta be something else. No tape inside. Hmm. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Phones probably haven't worked in months. I feel like there's something I'm missing in here. I don't know why. But I'll have to like look around this room uh, at some point in time. But I actually think this is a pretty good place to stop for now. I'll be sure to look for anything else in this room and if I can't find anything I'll move on but I have a, I have a weird feeling that there's something here I'm missing I want to thank everybody for tuning in to watch today if you enjoyed what you see be sure to drop a like on this video I would really appreciate it on that note I hope that you all are having a fantastic rest of your day and always remember don't be constant be dynamic I'll see you guys in the next video